Alex, uh, what do you have uh, to show me tonight? What is this? Well, in this uh, vehicle behind me, we have a combination of uh, phone as a key technology, where we replace the uh, traditional key fob with a Bluetooth connected smartphone. And we have uh, added security through biometrics, where we use uh, voice, uh, fingerprint, um, iris, and uh, face, face scan to uh, further verify which driver is actually trying to start or access the vehicle. So, as I walk up, uh, the vehicle detects the presence of the phone and activates the camera biometrics to authenticate my face. Where is that happening on the, uh, where is the camera? It's right here on the side view mirror. Okay, that's you, okay, right there. That, and that sees your face. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, right. so, so hey, I'm gonna okay. look at it. Yeah. And, all right. Okay, and now it will let me unlock the phone, uh, the car, <laughs> um, or not. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now in here for starting the vehicle, we have further biometrics. Um, here you can see which ones I signed up for personally. So that would be the face recognition, voice pattern detection, and fingerprint detection. And uh, when I push here, it will start uh, to authorize me. First the, the face again. It, it, okay, where is that uh, taking your picture? Um, the camera is up here. Okay. And uh, you see it, Give it a check mark so that means it detected my face. Uh -huh. Now we're going to do uh, the voice print authentication. My voice is very special and unique. That sends a voice sample up to the cloud and there it gets verified that it matches my voice print. And then as the last step, uh, we have the fingerprint authentication. So if anyone else were to push this fingerprint sensor, so I'm using the wrong finger now to, to show it not working, it will just refuse to start, but um, if I do it with my registered fingerprint, then it starts up the car. Wow. Well, that's amazing. Now, I assume that there's been a lot of uh, interest by the OEMs in, uh, in, in this kind of technology. Um, yes, there sure is for multiple reasons, because of course it um, adds security. It's uh, beneficial if you think of um, fleet scenarios where, for example, you have a rental car company and right now they need to um, manage a large inventory of key fobs and I'm sure all of the time people forget to return the key fob before, before they hop onto a plane and then they have to mail it back and it's a lot of hassle and if instead people can um, use the car by just um, getting their biometrics uh, registered or getting the cryptographic um, tokens into their phone downloaded over the air then you don't have all these headaches as soon as you're registered as the driver you can use it using your phone or your face so once again Continental gets ahead of the game and comes up with some pretty interesting technology that we're all gonna see uh, maybe uh, in the near future yes okay. um, yeah um, these technologies have different levels of maturity um, like the uh, Bluetooth component and uh, the voice print and the fingerprint they are ready for production uh, the fingerprint sensor is in non-automotive applications already we just need to get it into the automotive field mm -hmm. the camera applications are currently in a research phase mm -hmm. so well good luck you uh, you're, a, you're a good explainer of all this uh, technology Thank you. and uh, and I, I think it all makes a lot of sense I think that uh, it's the kind of useful tools that uh, when people, you know, look at their $50,000 investment in the driveway, they like a little bit of security to go along with it. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Alex. You're welcome. All right.